Hi everyone, it's Lisa here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I have a stellar birthday card to share with you featuring the new Far Out Friends and Stellar Sentiment stamp sets. I'm going to get started by stamping a few of the images onto some smooth cardstock using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm using Copic markers to color the images starting with the moon. So I'm going to be using C1, C3, C5, and C7, starting in the craters with C7, my darkest shade. And I'm going to start at the sides of these craters, laying a thin layer along the back of the crater. So I'm trying to create depth so the craters actually look like craters instead of just flat circles. I'm going to follow that C7 with C5 overlapping that just a little bit and I'm going to stay on that back side of the crater with this. We're going to follow that with C3 and I'm doing a thin line around the entire crater with that C3 and I'm going to overlap that C3 with the C5. My last color, I'm going to come in with C1 and start to blend all of this together. And I'm being careful to not lay too much of this lightest shade over the darkest shade. I don't want to wash it out. I do come back in with that C7 to darken up the backside of the craters just a little bit. So for the surface of the moon, I'm coming in with C1. Now I'm not covering the entire moon surface. I want to leave some white areas. And then I'm going to come in with Y11 and my blender pen, that tip to tip technique where I pick that color up from the Y11 with my blender pen and then start dabbing it down in the white areas. I'm going to do the same thing with my C1 so I can blend that yellow out a little bit. Now for this little monster, I decided orange colors YR16, YR15, YR12, plus R05. Now I kept it pretty simple with him by flicking all the colors in a circular motion. I colored his legs starting with the R05, R6, YR16, YR15, and I just was alternating in that order. So I used that same flicking technique for his feet and then for the little antennas on his head, BG18, BG15, BG13 to finish that off. Now for my astronaut, it's very simple, basic blending with this. Uh, I started with my darkest color in six and then worked from the outer edges inward on his suit. So N6, and then I followed that with N4, blending into N2 and N0. And then I come in with BG18, BG15, BG13, and BG11 to finish off this suit. And I'm just working from dark to light with my colors. So next for his face, I'm going to come in with E04 right around his hairline and add a little bit of depth there. I follow that with E21 and then E00 and E000. Again, just your basic coloring here with blending. I go back in with that E04 to darken things up again and then follow that again with the E21 and then do my final blend with the E000. I'm going to finish his gloves, his little boots, and his backpack with YR68, YR65, and YR61. Again, no special techniques here other than working from dark to light and blending those colors together as I go. Now for his hair, I decided I was just going to actually just flick strands of hair. And I started with E31 laying down those flicks and then I went into E33 just continuing to flick that color right beside what I had already done. 
E37. And then I came in with E39 just to darken up that little hairline I had created. Um, and that pretty much does wraps that hair up. I mean, it's pretty simple. I didn't do any real base, just as basic flicking of those strands and kept them side by side as I was doing that. So to finish him off, I'm going to come in with B000 around his helmet. And I just go, do a fine line around the inner part of his helmet. And then I'm going to finish off the little knobs or buttons on his chest control area there with YR68. So for the planets, I kept them very simple with some orange and reds for my Saturn. And then for the earth, I just did greens and blues. Um, I feel like the Saturn and the earth are just something that you go at with your own colors, but I did use the YR 68 and I used R59 and R29. And then I used the BG 11 for the earth for the water area, along with the BG 13 and then I came in with YG67, YG03, and YG63 for the land areas. So to create the galaxy background, I'm using Memento dye inks in the colors Teal Zeal, Paris Dusk, and Gray Flannel to start. I have a piece of Arches watercolor paper taped down to a hard board. And what I did was I just came down the center of this panel with clean water. And now I've laid some of that Teal Zeal ink down on my silicone mat. I'm going to work straight from my mat onto the watercolor paper. And there's no rhyme or reason to this technique. It's just get messy with it. Lay the ink down and just get messy with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry that because... I find by drying in between each layering, it helps um, build the color a little bit better. So I came in with London Fog and it wasn't quite dark enough for what I was looking for. So I am actually end up using gray flannel. And again, I'm doing the same thing, going around the edges of the teal zeal, laying down clean water, working that gray flannel ink all around, and even coming back in with more teal zeal to blend those together a little bit. Next, I'm going to come in with the color Paris Dusk. It's this gorgeous, really deep purple, or not purple, but blue color. It's really pretty. And I love the look that it gives when you lay it down and then you add tuxedo black to it because I've come in and I've added some of the tuxedo black and now I'm just working all of these together, layering them, and then I'm drying in between each layer. So I have some pear tart and you'll see I left a little bit of a white area there. I'm going to come into that area and add some of this pear tart. And I'm also going to pull some farther down onto the middle of the um, paper there. Now, once I've finished with the pear tart, I've already gone ahead and added some water to my Fine Tech Sterling Silver pan. And I'm going to go ahead now, mix that up pretty good there. And then I'm going to take a finger dauber and I'm going to soak up some of that water with that sterling silver there. Dab a little bit off onto my mat and then I'm just going to come in lightly and start laying some of this down. And what's going to happen is it's going to create this milky look to my galaxy. Um, and I found that's the best way for me to achieve the look that I want is by using the finger dauber with my fine tech sterling silver uh, watercolor and just dab it onto my background. Once I'm through with this, I'll come in and add splatters. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and flick a lot of splatters on this and then we're going to finish it off with the Twinkle Twinkle stencil. It's new to Honey Bee. It has a lot of stars, different sizes on it. And we're going to be using some deco foil metallics white pearl gel to stencil those stars onto the background. 
Once we have the stars stenciled on, we're gonna need to let this sit and dry completely. So uh, next, we're just gonna go ahead and assemble the card. I'm gonna come in with some a stiff mounting foam. I'm gonna cut that down and once the panel is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add that mounting foam to the back of this watercolor panel. I'm gonna go ahead and start arranging all of the colored images now. I'm using mounting foam to add these. So I'm gonna use mounting foam to go ahead and place the moon down, the little astronaut and the monster. And then we're gonna use liquid adhesive on the planets and we're gonna adhere those straight to the card. Now I stamped my sentiment, have a stellar birthday from the stellar sentiment set. And then I just trimmed them down with my paper trimmer and my scissors. I'm going to take some of that leftover uh, foam board that I had, the adhesive foam board, and I'm going to add that to the back of this and then go ahead and place it on the card and then that's it, we're done. You really don't need to add any embellishments to this card because you have so much um, shimmer and sparkle going on in the background with your water, your shimmer watercolors and that metallics white pearl gel that you really don't need anything else. Now, if you want to add something else, by all means you can, but I felt like it had enough. It didn't need anything else going on with it. So that's pretty much going to wrap us up for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and I hope you'll join me again. I hope you'll click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. Now for more information on the products used, head over to that Honeybee Stamps website and I really hope you have an amazing day.